Prescott Van Meyer III with a special sponsored episode today, a sommelier off between me and Sipt. Sipt is an app that lets you rate wines, track them, and get personalized taste match scores. So what does the episode look like? Well, it's me against Sipt, and I like my chances. Does the app have a nose? <laughs> does the app have taste buds? No, I do. They probably just have a team of experts that they consulted worldwide, give them all sorts of insight into the great world of wines. And that's a little intimidating. They got a lot of data. I mean, I got data too, but it's all up here in the head jelly. And to be honest, part of my profession is drinking so much that, uh, you know, maybe it's a little jiggly. Their mind is up in the cloud, you know, integrated, uncorruptible. So getting kind of psyched out. <laughs> I see what you're doing there, Sipped. So I'm going to bring it. I'm going to bring my full game. I'm going to go super cyan on you. Is that how you say it? Super cyan? Or is that the color you get for your inkjet printers? I don't know, I haven't had to order those in a long time. Either way, still feel like I have a fighting chance here and I'm gonna go all out. I mean, I'm just one guy, you know, does broad drink reviews and I bring everything into my review process. You know, all my memories, all my experiences, all my heartache. Sometimes that leaks into my review. That doesn't happen with Sipped. They're not hung up on their exes. It's not clouding their judgment. They're giving you just the ones and the zeros. Straight up information on those wines. So, but some people like emotion. And for those people, thanks for being here. I'm doing okay. It means a lot to me, the support. Woo, Sipped is really in my head, aren't they? <laughs> they give individual, personalized recommendations. I don't know each one of you personally, except Spittoon Guy. Like, seriously, chill out, man. I got your script about the Spittoon pilot episode, comedy series, Crime Fighting Spittoon, all right? It's actually pretty well written, but we're not gonna do that. I'm the star here, and today Sipped is the star. Co-stars. All right, and speak of the devil, do it right here. So here's how it's gonna work. Round one, we're just gonna give some notes on the wine. I'll give my own notes and we'll see what Sipped has to say. Round two will be pairings with the wine, something I'm pretty comfortable with and something I'm, I'm known for. And finally, for round three, we'll see who gives the best recommendations. May the best sommelier win. All right, let's start with round one. We have a Boom Boom Syrah from Washington State. Got that great deep color to it. Mmm, I can just smell that Northwest rainforest. Mm. Smells like where the ocean meets the forest. Smells like the birth of grunge. Smells like a Bigfoot wearing a Nirvana t-shirt, but in a really pleasant way. I've heard that Bigfoots are into personal grooming, so you know, not quite as stenchy as you would think. That's a lot of body to keep clean, a lot of hair. I would just think their shampoo and conditioner bill would run a fortune. All right, let's give it a taste. Very pleasant fruit, pretty bold. Has some nice uh, tartness to this one. Very richness to it. The aftertaste really mellows out. You kind of have those uh, tart and the bitters sort of getting mellower and mellower. And the aftertaste, fantastic. Tastes like a nice berry medley. A medley of berries, if you will. Medleys and medleys and medleys of berries. As many medleys of berries as you could imagine. You're not quite certain what berries are in there because it's a medley of them. All right, well, let's see what Sipped has to say. All right, they say that this has powerful tannins, strong acidity, and a rich taste of raspberry and blackberries. So, pretty dead on with what I said, although I didn't say rich or powerful, probably because I'm neither of those things. Boy, that's a toss up right there. I mean, Sipped really nailed it, but they didn't say medley, and I did many times. And that's a fun word. So Sipped individualizes things to you. I don't know how to do that with everyone in PV3 Nation, you know? How could I possibly reach out to every single one of you? I mean, my inbox is already cluttered with scripts and marriage proposals, you know? Offers to paint me nude. That one's a little weird. I mean, my personal taste match on this is 92%. So Sipped seems to know that I like medleys of berries because I'm digging it. It also seems to know that I need rich and powerful things in my life. 
Sip not only gives you notes on the wine, they also give you recommendations based on what you like. Well, that round was razor thin, but I think I'm gonna give it to me since I use the word medley. Round two, let's move on to the freak show. It's the name of the wine. Not this. That's the sound you want. You don't wanna hear a popping. Nice and smooth. Now this wine comes in a 98% match with me, so. Sip seems pretty confident that I'm gonna love the freak show. Mm. Somehow even fruitier. I like that. Strawberries, some plum, just a touch of vanilla. Let's give it a taste. Got that nice, rich, oaky, bold flavor that you find with Cabernets. I would pair this with uh, roasted meats, seared steak, or folding your laundry and finding a $20 bill in your pocket. All right, it was a $1 bill, but it felt like a 20. I needed that pick-me-up because it allowed me to get some more quarters to finish drying the rest of the clothes. So I didn't have to put on damp clothes. It was a pretty exciting day. Because you know how clothes smell when they don't dry properly in a hot, hot car. Let's see what Sipped has to say. All right, so Sipped does have some recommendations to pair it with, but what it also has is a feature, your own digital wine journal. You can put in the foods that you enjoyed most with it so that it collects that information over time, reminding you that maybe you liked the freak show with a chocolate molten lava cake or seared lamb chops, or microwavable Salisbury steak. Salisbury? Salisbury? Salisbury steak. Salisbury. Is it real meat? Who cares? If you like it with the freak show, put it in that digital journal. Come on, I need a little bit more. It smells in here. Other nostril. Ooh. Nice. Delightful. Smells like a very pleasant tarot card reading, which predicts a very wonderful afternoon for me. Maybe the tarot card reader knew that I was gonna go watch Freaks in my car later. One of us, one of us, one of us. Ugh. So Freak Show, I wonder what it'd be like to be part of a traveling circus. I certainly wouldn't be the bearded lady. <laughs> I cannot really grow a beard. Maybe I could predict people's weight, you know? Get your weight predicted by the world's only rat-fingered boy. On my digital wine journal on Sipped, I'm gonna give this five stars since I enjoyed it so much and uh, I'm gonna write down what I would wanna pair it with, just so I can keep that in the future. Corn dogs, slightly moldy cheese, funnel cakes, and maybe, maybe just some good old popcorn. Well, I guess we're gonna have to give this round a sip since it opened my mind to some really creative spaces. So one, one, it's tied, baby. Heading into the final round. The Battle Royale. Round three, who would be drinking this? And let's travel to Les Francais. <laughs> A Cote de Rhone Gigal. I always love a good Cote de Rhone, that's for sure. All right, well, let's give it a taste. Mm. This Gigal Cote de Rhone is a really beautiful French wine. It is somehow light and rich at the same time. It's somehow clean yet complex. Really fantastic wine. Sipped gives me a 92% matching score on this, but I'm gonna bump it up to five stars. This is very clean, very wonderful. I would pair this with, well, a nice steak dinner at a table surrounded by your closest friends. Friends who won't abandon you when your life starts going downhill, when you start struggling a little bit, find yourself as an outcast. <laughs> Not the friends that abandon you, the friends that stay with you. That's what I would pair this with. So pretty much just PV3 Nation. That's what I'd pair it with because everyone else in my life, woo! <laughs> you know, I was never able to find good wines for dinner with Abby and her friends. I mean, I thought I was. I enjoyed the wines, but Abby always just kind of looked at me, that look in her eyes, that screamed, uh, you're not good enough. <laughs> Let me just sit with that for a moment. Well, let's see what Sipped has to say. 
Sipped has a combined taste match feature, which takes group recommendations based on everyone's preferences. That way you can find the perfect wine that fits everyone and allows you to avoid death stares from your soon-to-be ex-spouse and scoffs of judgment from their friends. Phoebe, you didn't even know what you're talking about, so don't scoff at me. Your car had a breathalyzer in it, okay? You weren't even supposed to be drinking anyways. Glass houses, Phoebe, glass houses. Well, I know that round three was supposed to be the tiebreaker, but uh, I don't know. I think Sipt and I both proved our worth quite admirably in round three, so I think it's a split. We may have gone in different directions to prove our worth, me processing and re-experiencing my trauma and sipped just using its coterie of experts to give you exact matches. Either way, that's a tie in my book, baby. You know, I kept thinking of this as a competition between me and Sip, but maybe a, a partnership between a sommelier and, and an app that has so much expertise. Maybe that's the ultimate pairing. Open up your phone and install the app. I recommend it.